This will be a no CD-ROM fix if you're trying to use Magic DOSBox on your Android device. I'm using a Lenovo Duet Chromebook. Yeah, it's identified at IDA64 as a Kukui, but you can see by the processors from the ARM cores, the A53s and the A73s. So if you're trying to run old DOS games, some of them I've noticed have CD-ROM issues like Mine for Alone in the Dark has a CD-ROM issue, and Little Big Adventure has a CD-ROM issue. So I'll show you what that looks like. So you'll see right here, it says no CD-ROM driver. After you try setting it up. And Little Big Adventure will also error out. So it'll go through the Adeline splash screen. And then right there, no CD. So I finally figured out how to get it working and with the help of a file manager. So if you go inside your DOS game folder, usually these are set up where they have a DOS box emulator folder right here. That if you edit their config file, it kind of gives you the hint on how they're setting it up. This is what we're looking for right here. So image mount, they're doing it D, but this is what I'm looking for. What the name of the file is, that's the ISO image. So for this one, it's called game INS, which is a little weird because game INS, you can see it's only 793 bytes. So I'm a little surprised that it treats it as a ISO image since it's tiny. But this is for Alone in the Dark, so we'll go back. And I already got it preset up here. I could just recheck it, but let's say uh, let's go to Mortal Kombat. You hold down edit, and we are going to the CD ROM line. You'll hit plus. And I don't know for sure if it needs to be perfect. I googled it, but you would type in the CD label. I don't know if it has to match perfect, but I was using it assign it D and then depending on that config file you'll do it as an image or a folder and then you'll choose the actual file folder that it was wanting so like in an example that we used earlier it was the game INS so let's see let's go back to Alone in the Dark edit and I already have this preset up because I tested it so right here is where I had mine set up as an ISO image. That's the CD uh, drive label, or the CD volume label, I should say. And just make sure both of those are checked, enabled, and linking it to your ISO image. Check on that. And now when you click on it, it'll load up the game. going on here. Okay, let's just begin a new game. to show you I'm moving around and we'll quit out of here and I'll do the same thing for Twinson's adventure hold down go to edit and then I will re-enable this and for this one the uh, CD volume label was Adeline Save that, click again, it'll go through the Adline splash screen, but it shouldn't error out after the splash screen. And here we go. 
go. And it's doing the CD ROM cutscenes. I'll go for this. I have a save state. broke out. So, yep. I hope that helps out other people. It took me a while to figure it out for the no CD-ROM support with Magic DOSBox.